Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video working on the 2003 GTJ LS Swap project. We're gonna deal with the power steering now. Just about to put the bracket back on, but the first time I put it on, I realized that the power steering return line was gonna hit the frame, so I ended up cutting a section of it off, but now we're gonna modify it. We're gonna get that section fitted up, and then we're gonna worry about the pressure hose. So let's have a look. So one of the first things we need to do is cut off the return tube and weld that in and we also have to remove the pulley and separate the power steering pump that was covered in another video so now that i got the pulley pulled off and separated from its mount we need to remove i believe this that nut that nut there and we should be able to pull the actual power steering pump out and just leave us with the reservoir that we could properly weld her up and then clean her out inside. Use the impact gun to quickly remove those parts. Take careful of the spring and then grab a mallet, tap it, and it comes out. So what I did so I can get past all the tin so I could weld it properly was I drilled it out and then I'm using a bolt as filler. So I'm welding the inside of it first just to get it tacked and then I'm gonna remove my ground clip to the back and then I'm gonna weld her up nice and solid. So hopefully down the road, I don't have to worry about any kind of leaks. Right where that little, I guess, rust that's going to start, I'm going to drill a hole. I'm going to put that straight down. So in order to fit it up, I just got to drill it out so the return fluid can get in easily, buff it, die grind it. So there we are, got it welded in place. What I did on the inside is that I welded a layer first and then I grinded it off. And then after I welded the outside, I went back inside and I welded that donut on there. So that should ensure, hopefully, we're not gonna have any leaks. Uh, before I put the pulley back on, I'm just looking at the clearance for the return line in the frame to make sure I'm not gonna have any issues. One thing else you're going to notice is that the pressure line for the power steering is a little bit long, so we're going to have to make a new one. All right, for the pressure hose, I got one made right here. Hopefully it's not too long. I kind of measured it how it was going to be. And these are the adapter fittings I got. This is Earl's Performance Plumbing. This is power steering to 6AN. This is a number six male to female swivel so what we're gonna do first is remove the pressure line because we will no longer need that and then get the fittings pieced into the power steering pump and see how everything's going to align removing the pressure hose from the steering box i encountered my next problem is that i need a different fitting i need an 18 millimeter to 6 an in order to go into the power steering box in order to make my custom line and that's the fitting i ordered off amazon and got it in so now we can complete the project so i installed the 16 mil to 6 an fitting in the back of the power steering pump I'm gonna take the 90 that I got on my hose I custom made, which is about 27 inches long. And it's a little bit awkward, but I can feed it up and around and feed it on the back of the power steering pump. And from this point on, you're really gonna look at your placement of your line, the best spot that you can route it. And I just wanna show you a close up of the fitting in the back of the power steering pump. Right now, I'm just installing the swivel 90. The swivel 90 will give you options on little bit maneuverability and where you can route that hose to well all right we're all finished up here we're not going to tighten it up our test for uh for leaks until i get the engine finished assembled and we can prime the motor but in a nutshell the routing will kind of go this way because of the control arm right there, the power steering hose can't come through here, so it kind of has to make a wide loop around. <clears throat> There's the fittings right there, and then also you can see in the back of the power steering pump how it 
all goes together. So I'm not sure if this was more work than what it's worth. We're going to find out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the power steering mod for the LS swap in my 2003 GTJ. I'll see you guys in the next video.